facts you probably didn't know about Taco Bell. Hello and welcome to Crazy Food History, where we explore the world of food and drink. Are you hungry? Then go to Taco Bell. Everyone's well aware that it is not true Mexican cuisine. In fact, it's probably the last place anyone would look for a true tasty burrito. You have to add a ton of hot sauce to anything you order since the ground beef is a strange mush. Considering the quality of the ingredients, you have to question how they can sell tacos for such a low price. Still, there must be something about Taco Bell that keeps them coming back. Who on earth thought it would be a good idea to develop a fast food franchise that served Mexican food but wasn't really Mexican food? Who or what initiated this? Who decided that a sprinkle of Doritos was what tacos were missing? All such amazing facts are going to get uncovered today, and fact number 9 will blow your mind. So make sure you stay tuned, and let's start! Fact 1. A mariachi band and fire pits were featured at the first venue. These days, most Taco Bells appear like any other fast food joint. The room features some company logos and advertisements, but otherwise it's set up similarly to any other fast food restaurant with a counter, a menu board, and tables. This wasn't always the case. The atmosphere at the original Taco Bell was really unique. The entrepreneur didn't set out to open a fast food joint, but rather an outside eating and drinking establishment resembling a cross between a food truck and a picnic pavilion. You ordered at a drive through window and ate your food outside. You weren't just eating chalupas while standing in a parking lot. Instead, there was a patio area with fire pits and live mariachi music where you could enjoy your meal while dousing it with a spicy sauce. Fact 2. It was named for its creator. Taco Bell may seem like a random name generator compared to McDonald's and other eateries that are named after their founders. However, the California businessman Glenn Bell is recognized as the inspiration behind the name. Bell was a seasoned entrepreneur who had previously built a mini golf facility, a hot dog stand, and other businesses before founding the wildly successful franchise. When he was working at a drive-in, he saw how busy the Mexican restaurant across the street was, and that's where he got the idea to open his own. He picked up their cooking techniques and soon afterward opened his own Mexican restaurant. Taco Tia was the original moniker, and he expanded to three shops before selling to a partner. He established the first Taco Bell in 1962, and the rest is history. Today, there are too many outlets to count. Fact 3. The first fast food restaurant chain to promote women to managerial positions It's easy to forget that women haven't always had it easy in the workplace with the number of girl CEOs currently circulating in every area, cracking the glass ceiling and totally murdering it day in and day out. But even when Taco Bell first opened, things were simpler than at other fast food chains. While most companies maintained management as a boys club, Taco Bell's first director of operations John Gorman decided to open the door to women in management positions so that the fast-growing company could handle the influx of new employees. Who knew that the land of the Crunchwrap Supreme would also be the home of equal opportunity for women to climb the corporate ladder? Fact 4. Once, they even set a target out in the ocean. Yes, it does sound really out there, so let us clarify. Taco Bell wanted to get in on the space action as early as 2001, when the Mir space station was getting ready to land, decided to place a target in the water. They then issued a statement promising free tacos to all U.S. residents if the space station successfully landed on the target they had set. Wow, that's a great promotional deal. Fortunately, the space station missed the taco target, meaning that Americans had to keep shelling out cash for tacos. Fact 5. They're such jokers. When fast food restaurants try to make a joke or comment on a cultural phenomenon, they often miss the mark and the joke either doesn't land or worse, offends the audience. Taco Bell, on the other hand, was dead set on playing a practical joke on the public for April 1st. They decided to announce their acquisition of the Liberty Bell via full-page advertising placed in six newspapers across the country. These were not little regional publications, each had a circulation of at least 10,000. According to the advertisement, the American icon would be rebranded by the fast food chain as the Taco Liberty Bell. Given the bizarre events that have occurred in the United States, many people who read the advertising probably thought it was accurate. The joke was later exposed, but the name still sounds cool, huh? Fact 6. It previously featured an odd sandwich. Almost every fast food restaurant has certain old recipes they no longer use since they either didn't succeed or didn't fit their brand. Taco Bell's version of the dish was called the Bell Beefer. Anyone familiar with the Bell would know that the restaurant did not always specialize in tacos, but instead offered other options like hot dogs and burgers. But this is no ordinary burger, it's a sandwich. The Bell Beefer consisted of the same ingredients as a taco, but was served on a bun. 
people didn't particularly like it because the concept is a little bit perplexing. Fact 7. Some famous people are fans of them. When it comes to restaurants, A-listers have their pick of the bunch. Not only can they afford to eat at any restaurant on the globe, but their celebrity status usually allows them to skip the line if there is one. But even A-listers have their downtime, and sometimes they'd rather have a plain piece of junk food than a sophisticated entree. For example, Chrissy Teigen has made no secret of her devotion to Taco Bell. Despite her reputation as a gourmet chef who regularly experiments with new and interesting cuisine, there are times when all she wants is a hefty, oily burrito. We understand. Anna Kendrick's another famous person who enjoys eating at Taco Bell. In an interview, she said that eating at the Bell was like indulging in a filthy secret because she loved it so much but would only do it in secret after midnight. After a long day of filming, it's normal to be craving some Taco Bell. Fact 8. It used to be much more affordable. Many fast food restaurant meal combos with all the fixings are more expensive than a similar meal at a better restaurant. Not even Taco Bell. Taco Bell is well known for its wide variety of cheap menu options, making it an ideal choice for hungry college students on a budget. You wouldn't believe how affordable Taco Bell food used to be if you thought it was cheap now. Fast food joints have come a long way since the 1960s when tacos, burritos, and tostadas were all just 19 cents each. Less than a quarter for each tasty treat. Granted, the cost of living was lower in the past, but it's still a ridiculously low amount for a meal. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Taco Bell will have a retro special where you can get a taco for that price again. Fact 9. In Mexico, you won't find any Taco Bells. Taco Bell's logo and marketing materials have several references to Mexico, from sombreros to the company's former Chihuahua mascot who spoke Spanish in ads. Americanized Mexican food is served, yet the restaurant still hasn't found success in Mexico. Even though they knew it wasn't real and sought to market it as Americanized Mexican food, the company's two attempts to offer Taco Bell to Mexican consumers over the years were both colossal failures. Maybe it's because they know what a real, authentic, great taco should taste like, but Mexican diners aren't as accepting of it as Taco Bell fans in other countries. And number 10. The Chihuahua later became a successful actor. If you were into pop culture in the late 90s and early 2000s, you probably remember Gidget, Taco Bell's snarky Chihuahua mascot. Numerous print and television ads featured the dog, who would typically say something in Spanish, the most famous of which was, Yo quiero Taco Bell. The dog was popular, the slogan was widely used, and the campaign is now remembered as one of the best of the last few decades. So what happened to the campaign's main attraction after Taco Bell no longer needed their service? So I guess it's time to move on to better things. After appearing in multiple Geico commercials, Gidget moved on to the bright lights of Hollywood, where she played the lead part in Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. Who knew the famous dog could do so much? You can be famous too, just by commenting your favorite fact in the comment box, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great content.